Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about custom enum constructors and methods. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com and select begin. We'll scroll down here to the enum constructors tutorial there. So, um, an enumeration or enum for short is a special data type that consists of a list of named constants, and that's taken directly from my enum introduction there. So, um, just reiterating that. Now, each named constant is in fact a special class. Each named constant can have a constructor, instance variables, and methods. Let's start off slow with a simple enum declaration, right? So enum, sizes, and then small, medium, and large. Now let's add a private instance variable that will correspond to an int value representing the ounces of a hamburger patty, okay? So now with the same thing, I've added in this private instance variable and ounces, okay? Now, now it's starting to look like a special class declaration now. Let's add a constructor, okay? So you know, um, it's basically, it is a class, an enum is a class, and then each one of these little guys are basically like a class inside of it too as well. And that's a little confusing at first, but let's check out the constructor here for sizes. Um, it will take an int value as its parameter ounces, and we'll go ahead and assign this dot ounces, right, which is our instance variable ounces up here, equal to the parameter value ounces. Okay. Still confusing at this point. Now let's uh, invoke that constructor and assign the instance variable value for each enum for each enum value. Okay, so here's where the magic happens, right? So small, and we're invoking the constructor here on sizes because each one of this is as small as an enum type sizes, right? So by um, passing the argument four, the parameters received as four, and it sets the ounces for small as four, medium eight, and large 12, okay? By invoking these constructors. So this is, this is of course, a little bizarre there, but uh, you know, and no one ever said enums kind of conform to, to everything else. They have their own special syntax and special rules there, okay? So now small has a, a state of four, medium has a state of eight, and large has a state of 12. Okay, now finally let's create a getter method so we can do something with our private instance variable. Okay, so now we'll add uh, int get ounces, which will just simply return ounces or return the state for each one of these uh, basically objects here, small, medium, and large, you know, size, in the size enum. Okay, let's go ahead and hop down here to the code, highlight everything, control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm gonna move my browser off screen and I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new and shortcut CMD next to finish. All right, let's go and open this up, type in Java C for the Java compiler command, just to make sure we have everything configured properly, you should see everything scroll, uh, all this stuff scroll by. If you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing and configuring the Java development kit. You wanna make sure you get that installed and configured before continuing. See else to clear the screen, cd space backslash cd short for change directory backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm gonna make a directory here called Java with the md command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, I'll go ahead and create it for you. I'm gonna make another directory here called uh, enum construct um, and change directories to that folder and I'm on notepad enum constructors dot java enum constructors dot java of course be the name of my source code file here and we'll go to control v to paste or right click and select paste all right let's go ahead and save this here so here I've got the exact same um, enum sizes class declaration, we'll call it a class declaration, but it's an enum in fact, an enum direct declaration here, you know, but it sure does look an awful lot like a special class, which is exactly what it really is in essence there. So with small, medium, and large. So enum constructors here, I got my class with my main method entry point here. First thing I'm doing there is setting s reference variable of type sizes, enum sizes equal to sizes dot medium. And then I'm invoking the name method, you know, from my previous tutorial on common methods. And then I'm invoking the get ounces, right, which will return ounces here. And then I'm just 
displaying that to the console and of course plus the string literal ounce hamburger patty on that and then I'll display a line. All right, let's go ahead and come up here and clear our screen. Let's compile this thing here and let's run it. Okay, so um, at that point, basically we get medium, which is the, the name that we assigned, right? Because we're dealing with the medium, basically the um, enum class type there. And then here's the get ounces, return back eight right there and then ounce hamburger patty. Okay, so from the previous tutorial on the common methods, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a, um, an array of all of the, an array of the sizes, basically a, uh, all the values of the sizes enum type there. So um, do that by invoking the values method, which will populate this S array with all of the small, medium, and large objects, basically. So, and then just using an enhanced for loop, I'm going to loop through there and invoke the name and the get ounces and then plus the string literal there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so basically here's what we end up with. Small, 4 ounce patty, hamburger patty, medium, 8 ounce hamburger patty, large, 12 ounce hamburger patty. Okay, so basically that's, that's the way that works. You can, um, you know, add in object object state right instance variables you can create a constructor for it there and you can create a getter method too so you can also do a setter method and everything else just like you can do with other stuff there but anyway so that basically kind of uh that's about all i'm going to do as far as covering enums you know that i can think of right at the moment there so um you know just a no real final thoughts on this particular one. They are they are a strange sort of anomaly, but they serve a really cool purpose there. You know, in their basic form, they are pretty simple. Where if we just you know, if you're just using them as you know a, a list or whatnot there for an if statement or a switch statement or whatnot there. So, but you can also get uh, you can also expand on them and have them return back um, state too as well. So, anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.